Hey everyone, this is Sierra Mike Six Yankee Zulu Charlie. I thought I should talk a little bit, a little bit about my trend, uh, handheld, uh, the Polmar DB32, because people are, have been asking about it. So I thought I should make a little video about it. Um, the Polmar DB32 is a dual band transceiver uh, for. VHF and UHF bands on the amateur radio band. Yeah, and it also has RX on the regular commercial FM band. Yeah, and it comes when it comes in the package. It looks like this. It, I think there is uh, a black version and a gray version, and I think this is the gray one, even if it looks black yeah um, so this is how it lo looks there is the PTT the monitor key and there is the Call. It says call, but it sends a seventeen <laughs> hundred fifty kilo, uh, one thousand seven hundred and fifty hertz tone, so that you can open a repeater. Yeah, and here you have mic uh, input and speaker output, but it is the Let's see. The mic input is a 3.5 millimeter plug, tele plug. Um, but I've tried to to uh, put a microphone, an external microphone to it, but uh, it haven't worked. But and uh, the speaker output is a smaller version. I don't know exactly the numbers 2.6 millimeters I don't remember but anyway I bought this little adapter so and this is a 2.6 something to 3.5 so you can put it in here and you can put a headphone to it yeah so what do I have to say of oh not transmit now um, what do I have to say about this little thingy? Well, I could tell you a little bit. A good thing. The battery is pretty good. It's, um, well, it's, it works. It's a 7.4 volts, 1500 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Yeah. That's how it is. And plug it in. Uh, and but a uh, good thing is that you can use it. Oh. This is how it sounds. They didn't want to say anything, they just opened the repeater. But I think it was a signal from Denmark or Norway. Uh, because there is frequencies, there is a repeater close by in Norway that has the same frequency as the repeater. Anyway, you can talk, you can use it and transmit uh, while you are charging it. Because the, the charger is not that big and you can hold it in your hand like this and talk in it. Uh, even if, yeah, like if you want to use it while you are charging it, and that's good. It runs, uh, it's 5 watts to the antenna on the VHF band, and uh, 4 watts on the UHF, and it also has low power uh, mode, uh, that's 0 0.5 watts, uh, 500 milliwatts. Uh, that's good things, but... 
while I've, I've been testing it, I realized there is some things that isn't that good about this transceiver handheld. Uh, the antenna is not that good. Well, it works uh, in the city, like if you want to call a repeater. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, it works if you just have close contacts like that. Um, yeah. And the PTT, that is a problem I uh, that has been occurring. That the PTT, when I press it and transmit, uh, in the middle of the transmission, it stops transmitting, and I have to press it again. Uh, it's not that big of a problem. It works uh, anyway, but I don't and I don't know if maybe I s I'm too my fingers are too weak or if it just shuts off by itself. Um, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, and one thing that was a bit of a problem for me was that this is an SA SMA coax connector on this and I found that it was I, I actually I don't I'm not very used to using this kind of machinery I'm more into uh, HF bands I used to be uh, and well they have PLL con PL contact contacts but this is an SMA and I think that uh, it's pretty hard to find antennas that they uh, use have an SMA connector, but you can solve the problem uh, by doing like this and buy a little thingy called an adapter. This is an adapter, it's a SMA male to SMA female, and you just screw it on. I think. Here you got it, and uh, where is it? And you can connect a different antenna. I'm using this. It's my my brown GP antenna that I built. So you can use a different antenna. And I thought the modulation. It's a bit weak modulation, uh, but it w but it works. I thought I should show you. I can call the repeater and say, "Hello, this is Sierra Mike Six. Yankee Zulu Charlie is testing uh, this for YouTube." Blah blah blah. And the repeater is recorded, so I will put the audio from the repeater in the video. So listen now. What's happening to my? Uh, yeah. Now, if you have questions, put them below in the comments. Um, I will try to answer as much as I can. I still don't re uh, understand everything in the menus because uh, I think yeah, that's w another thing that was pretty bad. The the manual wasn't that uh, good. It just told you. This is how you do this, and this is how you do this. They didn't tell you what the different things that you could do did. <laughs> so that's that's pretty poor, I think. That's not a good manual. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty hard to find uh, um, access accessories to this because I want. Uh, 
a microphone speaker yeah, monophone, yeah. But I have to order it from maybe from Italy if I don't want to solder to get it something myself. But I not in the mood. Yeah, that's about it. And uh, yeah, put some comments below if you have questions. Otherwise, maybe you can tell me some things about this little piece of equipment. Uh, this is Sierra Mike 4, and this is Sierra Mike 6, Yankee, Sully, Charlie, calling 73, and uh, QRT.